the online grocery market is shifting. Um, it, it's growing quickly. It's, it's growing over 20% annually, but in-store sales aren't really seeing that kind of growth. Welcome back to Madison Noteworthy. I'm Mike Victorson, hanging out today with Christy Andringa, my partner in crime. And uh, today we've got with us Jeremy Niren from Grocer Key. Jeremy, Thanks for welcome having aboard. Me. Yeah. Good to handshake you. <laughs> so Jeremy, growing a business is not easy to do. Help our viewers just connect back all the way to college and how this business got going. So I actually, I graduated from UW in 2005. I was a history major. So definitely didn't have my sights set on starting perfect a business. Perfect background. Exactly. Perfect, perfect background. Perfect, perfect. Helps me every day. Um, so I, I actually taught for about six months and had a desire to move back to Madison. And I had an idea um, in mind for a, a late night uh, on-demand grocery delivery service for college yeah. students. Are you talking exactly. like on-demand at like 1.30, I got the munchies in Ten the morning? Ten minutes later, it's at your door. Boom. Exactly. Boom, Ben and Jerry's at your door. Yeah, so I yeah I ran that business for about a year, you know, just kind of bare bones. Um, and then our second year, we were actually fortunate to get on a meal plan um, for some private residence halls on campus. Um, so students could use their, their meal bucks. Yeah, that was kind of the big break. And that's when the business really launched. We shifted gears from warehousing all the inventory ourselves to partnering with a local grocery store in Madison to operate that business. And in the process of doing that, I came up with a new business concept, which is Grocer Key, um, to kind of help grocery stores sell online rather than pursuing it ourselves. Once that happened, things just kind of took off. We were accepted into an accelerator program here in Madison called Generator. Mm -hmm. um, they made an investment in us and they provided us with mentorship. We were fortunate to get this deal with Woodman, so it looks like I'll be sticking around for a while. So, I, I mean, as, as a mother of three and, you know, I feel like I'm constantly shopping, one of my least favorite things to do is to actually go to the grocery store, and it can be the most fabulous grocery yeah. store. This is awesome. Yeah, and that's, and that's why we're in business. So, I mean, it's, it's definitely a growing trend. People appreciate the convenience. So they're going online to shop. Millennials are, you know, tech, you know, tend right. to be tech savvy and early adopters of this technology. Madison has a lot of millennials with the university here. And we had the software background because we had our own proprietary software for the previous business. Mm -hmm. We understood the local delivery operation. So we had all these, you know, kind of tools at our disposal and just the right team to pursue the opportunity. You know, there's a common theme that I'm hearing when I listen, and you know, you said you left for six months and were a teacher. Yeah. When I listen to you, you mm -hmm. are teaching grocery stores now how to, I mean, you know, you kind of go back to the roots no matter exactly. what role you're in. And it's interesting to see that yeah. you're infusing that into, exactly. you can just feel that. And you're a great educator. I mean, even how you're explaining Absolutely. this to us. Thank you. Um, I'm not very savvy and I'm a savvy grocery savvy shopper. Thank you. <laughs> this is true. Um, <laughs> but, the, you know, I, I'm not savvy the, and I feel like I totally understand what you're talking about I appreciate which, which it. Thank you. that so you have a gift yeah well it's a lot of practice too jeremy thank you so much for being here um you're a fabulous guest i learned so much so thanks for sharing thanks so much for having me appreciate yeah, it yeah very inspiring um and viewers thanks for tuning in uh, we will look forward to seeing you next time on madison noteworthy for season four